you suggested that human consciousness might in some way be the result of quantum effects. Could you perhaps tell us a bit about how you came to that view and how that view has developed over the years? Well, the story is a bit long and uh, involved in many ways. I was, when I was a graduate student in Cambridge, after having done my undergraduate work in London, University College, I went to Cambridge and I was working on pure mathematics. And I sort of thought, well, three years for my PhD is quite a long time. I can work on other things which might interest me. So I went to three courses which were nothing to do with what I should be doing. One was a course by Bondi on general relativity, which was very influential, very influential on what I subsequently did. Another was a course by Paul Dirac, the great physicist, which also was extremely influential in what I did later. The third course was by a man called Steen, who was a mathematical logician. And I learned from his course about Turing machines, which gives a general concept of what you mean by a computation. So I learned about that. And then he described <coughs> Gödel's theorem. I had been worrying a bit about Gödel's theorem. When I say Gödel's theorem, there are two, but you can um, put them into one theorem. Basically, it's one, one statement, which is the important thing. Um, I'd heard about it, but I didn't quite like the idea because it seemed to say there were things in mathematics you couldn't prove. And I was a little bit worried by that. 